Okay, so we're live. Yeah, so I haven't played Kingdoms and Castles for a very long time. I think it's been years. So when I was playing, it was much more limited. But now they've added things like uh, the Diplomacy and War update, I think. I think that's what they call it. Yeah, no, that's the War and Diplomacy update. So now you can play against AI Kingdoms. So it's really cool. Plus you're being attacked by raiders and dragons and things. So it's definitely like a sur survival city builder. Okay, so let's go and get started. So I'm just gonna do a new one. We'll do standard mode. Yeah, this is like the easy, this is really like the, there's no threats. I tried Vintar, which is hard, and it's a little too hard for for a first place. So I'm going to do easy. There is a survival mode where you're going to fail. I guess you're going against like endless attacks. So I'm going to just start with the easy, which I think is actually like the normal difficulty. So we'll just accept that. And then I think this banner is okay. This one's a little bit more colorful. So we'll go with that. Peter Topia. I don't like that name. Uh, you spell, yeah, I think Frost Time or something. Hey, JC. Well, th thanks for showing up, Jay. Yeah, I was just checking this game, but I haven't played it in a long time, but it looks really interesting. So we're going to choose a large map. You do islands so you can unlock the AI. I guess I'll try I haven't tried rivers yet. I'll just try it without rivers and see what that looks like. So basically, we're going to have to mine, get stone and iron there. This one can have uh, three AI. The greener patches are fertile, or fertile, and the dark green are very fertile. So I'm just going to kind of... Uh, do it a couple of times until I see a, a good island. Wow, this is a really big island. It's good to have uh, like stone nearby. It's easily accessible. Like I think this one could be pretty good. Or it reminds you of Tropico. So we can trade or go to war with the AI. I'm just hoping that there's like, this is a really good island for the AI. I'll just try a couple more maps. Preferably I'd get like a very fertile area. And of course there's tons of fish. So I want to make sure the AI has plenty of room as well. I mean, this area is not bad. It's huge. So I just try to get like a really cool map. But they've added so much to this game. It'd be cool if the maps were actually a little bit bigger. But I don't know, this looks Good enough. Let's try one more. Like, I'd much prefer big pieces of land, I guess. But sometimes it unlocks three or, or just two AI. Okay. 
Okay, that one's pretty good. It's just kind of small. But anyways, we'll just try this. We'll add in three AI. We'll go for the smaller one. Well, actually, it's like that's not big enough for like three decent sized. I mean, this one's okay size wise. So I'll go with this map right here. And we'll have one potential large enemy. So this is really great for farming. I want to get close to. Hopefully, get close to uh, the granite mine. It's because when you start off, well, I was playing hard and it's kind of slow trying to just get enough wood and everything. So I could start my kingdom just up here, actually. But I kind of want to do it in inland, I think. So I'll start off right here. We can only add two AI. We'll accept that. I'm just going to pause it. Yeah, we could put a road up there and get a quarry going. So we'll build our castle. I think that's good enough. We're really close to fish as well. So the first thing I want to do is get rid of, get some wood. And then we can build a road here. I'll just unpause it. I mean, I don't really know what I'm doing in this game. It's been such a long time, and I think it's a vastly different game now. So the roads are just one wood to build. Uh, people will show up every once in a while, so we will need to get the houses built. I think I'll just build it towards here. It'll probably go up this way. It's just R to rotate the buildings. So that'll be for these guys to live. We start off with some food, but we'll need to start producing some soon. Okay, so everyone's happy. And here's your health, so you need to have like access to wheat and fruits and fish to have, uh, you need a, a, a diverse variety of food to be healthy. But it'll take us a while to get those things. I think it's going to be very important just to get some immigrants. Well, I guess it's like tropical because it's like an island based. But the graphics are very different. And the other thing too is when we do build food, you have to have the proper storage for it or you can't save any for during the winter. So I think you just kind of lose all your crops. I don't know. And then the next thing we'll do is we'll have, we can get our population up to 20 now. We got a couple of immigrants. 
And then we'll just get a quarry at the top here. I guess we'll probably harvest these next. So the quarry's under uh, industry. We need 15. Then we just spent a lot of that wood. That's why I want to get a lot of people in here as soon as possible. Because we need lots and lots of wood there. I'll just kind of go to medium speed for a bit. I don't want to rush the game too much. Hey, right and runs. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, I wish I wish everyone thought that way. <laughs> Okay, so we got a road up there. And so for, you can manage the, the job priorities. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put, uh, oops, quarry workers up. We'll just limit it to, to two. Well, actually we'll, we'll stay at four for a little bit until we build up some some stone there. <clears throat> Cause we're really getting low on food. Yeah. Oh yeah, we have so much wood now. So I'll just slow it down when I think spring's about to come. I think we're gonna get a lot of snow here. So winter's finally arrived. Okay. I'm just gonna do some temporary farms. It's very fertile here. And then we're also gonna need a small granary, so just five stone. You can build windmills to to increase the productivity, but you don't need to like process the the wheat or anything. Just gonna get that granary built. I think I'll just position it like that. No, I'll just stick with that for now. We got most of those trees. I'm going to give them a break though from cutting lumber. I could build like that. 
I'll need to get uh, a well to I think on the the harder difficulty you have shorter you have longer winters so you got like a shorter summer and it just feels like you know bef it's so difficult to start off because it takes a long time to build the storage the storage buildings for your food Yeah, because we have nothing left. So ho hopefully the, the four farms is enough for now. Because I can just paint a couple there. Okay, good. Do we store anything? No, we have zero. We have four food, I guess. So I just fast forward through the winter. Uh, yeah, we don't have a well yet. So get that built and then I guess we'll do a forester because we'll need a charcoal maker. So it's used for heating and industry buildings. But you need a forester first, I think. So I might just put him like right up here outside of, uh, I guess there's not enough space there. So I reckon getting that stuff cut down. Too far away from the roads. So I get a road out here. Get an orchard there. See if we can get a produce storage. This is just like a kind of slow paced, relaxed game. But I imagine there's a lot more action in it now once we start dealing with those AI umpires. We can't we can't see them yet. But they're there. I think there's so we got two other empires. This one's a bit challenging. But this empire could get quite big. And there's like this diplomacy things like do we send them a gift or not and so oh no it burnt down or no it's building still <laughs> it does on fire well we have six food left so we're doing okay and this will give us we get a fertility bonus of eight, so because it's on very fertile soil, so we should get a good amount of food. And I'm just gonna start getting more homes. I think we'll come this direction. Okay, we're a small village. I guess that's that was we needed twenty five people. Man, it seems like we don't have enough wood. I 
So I'm going to prioritize the timber workers. Oh, seven people is pretty good. Might just wait a bit because we'll be going through that stone pretty quick. I'll probably put a road through here. Oh yeah, I did. Uh, but we didn't get the orchard stuff yet. I just got a crop, so let's let's hope I've got enough. Yeah, the winter's coming. Yeah, it is difficult to sort of get the the food set up properly. Because when the spring comes, you still gotta wait. Yeah. But like they'll they'll survive. They're they're pretty hardy in the beginning. Like, I really want to get a a fishing hut, but we need to get a treasury first and all this stuff. <laughs> Oh, thanks, Dave. I didn't know you were in the you were watching. Wow, thanks for the donation. Uh, good luck on your channel growth. I've seen a few of your vids and the content is great. Well, thank you so much for watching, and thank you for supporting us with supporting me with that tip. Okay, now, okay, now we can just get that forester started. I'm thinking I'll just build a road up here. Okay, that'll be good. Yeah, I th well, I think the tips, yeah, they, they all get converted to Canadian prices. Okay, so we got that set up. Yeah, no, I know you're not knocking it. But yeah, the, <laughs> the Canadian dollar isn't doing too well. Okay, so then we have to get the charcoal maker, and that should unlock a bunch of stuff too. I'm going to keep it near the industry. I, th I think it has a negative effect on housing. I'm not sure. But we got that set up. And then we have to build the treasury. Treasury room. I kind of like keeping it by the castle. So we'll build that. And it kind of, it upgrades the castle. I don't think it matters where you place it. But the castle starts looking bigger. And then we can do the tax rate. I, I hate to raise taxes, but that's how we get gold in this game. Oh, the dragon's excited. So the dragon's up here. He'll go and attack the other empires too. Oh, 
I can just use this to while I'm on the camera. Okay, so we gotta get some more food. Is the is the charcoal maker on fire? Or is it just making charcoal? So I'm gonna need just a, a couple more farms, I think. Are we getting the gold yet? No. I guess that charcoal thing was on was on fire. So I'm just gonna speed it up a bit, get the treasury room finished. Yeah, we make it the gold at like the end, the start of winter or something, or the start of the next year. Then we'll get some fish. So the market. Workers carry extra food and charcoal to the market to make easy access to households. Okay. Okay, we're getting a lot more food. Hopefully that that's good enough. Yeah, I don't I don't know if these harvested anything. I'll get rid of those trees now. The forester will cut trees and also replant them. Yeah, so we're doing okay with food for now. I'm going to do a... See if I can do a proper... Wheat farm here. What's the windmill? Everything costs gold. So we might just need like a, a lot of tax. So there's like the here they're walking in. Might need more workers. We can get a cottage now, okay. So houses up to 12 peasants. Yields tax revenue has two heads of household for bringing food and charcoal to the home. Okay, so maybe these will start getting us some proper money. Hey, Manu. Welcome to the stream. I wonder where I'll put these. I'm going to build a road directly from the stairs. I'm going to build a couple there.
Oh yeah, finally getting some gold. Okay, great. We'll get some uh, fishing huts out there then. Yeah, why'd that guy get selected? Okay, we'll get a fishing hut. Be careful not to place too many fishing huts in one area. So I guess it would be like better down here potentially. Yeah, doesn't really give you like a percentage. Can you place it in the water? Let's see how that works. I'll demolish that field in the winter. Yeah, so if you guys like this video, please give it a like. And that lets me know if I should keep creating uh, more episodes of these, of this game. Okay, we got a cottage built. So I think the harvest is done now because the winter's here. Build a road there and we'll get some fish. So I don't know if the swine needs uh, fertile soil. So I probably need another charcoal maker. Yeah, people are not too happy. Their health is getting better. Do I not position those properly? Oh, I thought the door was at the other end. Well, I'll just build a few more. I can fix that. Right, we're going to need some like decorations and stuff eventually. There is a decoration DLC, but I didn't uh, purchase that. It's just a couple of dollars. Oh, maybe the tax rate's too high. Yeah, you're right, JC. It's probably the issue. I just wanted to get some for to get that uh, fishing hut built. It's not fully staff staffed. Well, we just need to get more population then. But having that fish will make them happier. And I think they don't have it they don't have enough charcoal either. See the happiness is going up. It's probably because of the tax was too high too. So just be this up, get those uh houses built. JC says, I, JC says, I totally get it, man. Get that gold to fund services. <laughs> yeah. Well, nobody likes taxes.
So hopefully these people, yeah, both of those houses are positioned wrong. I guess I can't like move it though. Is this built wrong too? Yeah, that one's built wrong as well. <laughs> And then I'll position them like this, and then just put a road around that. Right. I wonder if I can remove that rock. It can be removed with rock removal. It's probably the building for that. <laughs> no, I'm not going to try seeing in right and Ron's. He works hard for the money. Yeah, no. People won't won't watch this if I try singing. Yeah, so that dragon didn't fly over us, I don't think. So we're getting wood, we got stone, still don't have enough charcoal. I should see if I can build a marketplace. So a small market. Yeah, I might just build it right here beside all the houses. Oh, they want a tavern. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Oh, rock removal. Okay. I didn't see where the tavern is. Food. Maybe I'm just I'm just blind. Yeah, we'll figure out how to do a tavern eventually. Yeah, so we're finally getting some ex excess charcoal, or, or we were. Get one more of those. I wonder why it's not. Oh, it's waiting for stone. It's fish or pork. So that's good. We'll have to get an, another fisherman. Oh, and I'm just short wood. I guess because of all, all those uh, charcoal makers.
Oh, maybe I should have done it like this. So I'll, I'll have a road going past there potentially. There. I should solve the wood problem. I'm sure fertile soil might help with the trees. I'm not sure though. And there's some walls. We gotta be careful around there. So the food's really good now. We have to start just build in more houses, I guess. So library, libraries provide happiness per knowledge, gains knowledge over time. So I can't remember if there's like a, a, a technology function in this game. Or is it just create happiness? Oh, I'm going to need a fishmonger. So I'm just going to have to wait to get some food. Yeah, that's kind of a dangerous spot. Hopefully he's safe. Oh, they're not attacking him. Well, you, you like games like this, right, JC? There's a few games I want to try. But I thought this would just be great to try out. Transport cart. Transport resources between your storage buildings. Add your storage buildings as destinations. Okay. I guess I'll need a stockpile too. Okay, good. We can build a fishing hut. Oh, I need a fishmonger. Yeah, 40. Well, they're still eating fish. We just can't store it for the winter. Yeah, gonna need that cemetery when that dragon shows up. Yeah, in 11 years. Well, is it 11 years or is it like we're, was that the next timeline and we're a third into it? Well, I think the dragon initially, he doesn't do too much damage. Yeah, oh, you, oh, you're right. It's counting down, so it's 10 years now. Yeah, I think it started at 14 or something. So we'll just get some wood. We'll do fishmonger. And then we'll almost have like too much food at that, at that point. I've got, got a lot of kilns as well, a lot of charcoal.
not sure if I want like a fishmonger near the buildings. It would fit nicely right there though. It's going to be difficult to defend this area from invasions though. But this is like, this live stream is just like a test run though. If people do like this game, then I'll, I can do a, a full blown series on it. So get that going. Man, I wish we could find the tavern. So I guess you'll build castle ball. You build castle blocks. Is there an access? Press and hold the left mouse button to begin drag play. So I think you you stack them up potentially to make them taller. I'm just going to test it out. Yeah, I think you just keep stacking on top. Because it would be good to have an archer tower there. So a nice, quiet, happy place for villagers to stroll through. Okay, so we're gonna need a clinic. Two peasants have died of the plague. Guess cemetery caretaker. That's the maximum, it looks like. Let me see. Okay, you need surrounding blocks of similar height. Okay, we got the caretaker. Get a cemetery. I wonder if cemetery would increase happiness. Cemeteries are dignified and sanitary resting place for our departed. Tombstones eventually disappear, so cemetery plots can be re reused. So we got enough gold. Oh, that's expensive. We'll go with the cheap ones. Right, that's good for now. So a chamber of war, that's what we need next. I mean waste all our stone on the tower.
Okay, so I can fit one there. I'll build a road through here first. Yeah, I fit one there, but it's no access to it. And our food is really good. Oh, I can't. That's that's really awkward to get there. I'd actually just demolish that and we'll go for up here. Okay, that's good. Yeah, we're supposed to get five to ten centimeters of snow here today. I'm not sure if it started snowing yet. And then I think like five centimeters tomorrow too. Okay, so that'll get us the, the stone we need. And we're going to have to raise taxes. A church or a library. Man, everything's like just so much gold. You would think the tavern would be in here. It's for happiness. Oh, it's right there. Okay. So yeah, we need a, a tavern. There we go. I want a town square, that'd be nice. Put the town square right in front of the castle. Okay, they just want a church or a library next. My gold's going down, too. So I guess I'm paying for things. I don't see any tombstones, though.
Let's see if I get an archer. Oh, it's 20 gold for an archer tower. So I'll just wait on that. Be cool if we could get like a, a trade dock. So the masons, I think, will be the repair of the structures. Over time, all the buildings can degrade. Keep this stockpile there for now. I guess I could start for the iron mine. Can we even get there though? Yeah, it's kind of a really awkward location. Okay, we're a burgeoning town. We've got over 100. Yeah, and that dragon's come in in two years. I want to get as much tavern, much uh, as cottage is to get raise up some gold. Hey, Michael, welcome to the stream. Yeah, this game's been out for a while on... I think the early access was 2017 or something. And I haven't played it in, uh, for years. I think it's probably a fully released game now, but they're up, they keep updating it. Okay, so that goal is trying to trickle in. Okay, let's see if we can... So the archer school is going to cost a hundred. <laughs> so I might just build a ar archer tower there for now. See how it deals with the, the dragon. Oh, a diplomat en route. Oh, they've got boats already? <laughs> so I'm doing terrible. Well, hopefully they're friendly. We can build manors now. We demand charcoal. So these ones don't demand it, but they use it. And a fire brigade. So we'll see what they have to say. It's just not full of troops. Just gotta click on them. We have a message from a ruler. Yes, go on. I'm a ruler of a prosperous kingdom. I don't have time to put up with nonsense from anyone. Agreed, let's keep the peace. Okay. That was the message, okay. I guess it starts off slow. Okay, so the dragon sighted. So they're going to attack these guys. I'm assuming their fortress is around here. Yeah, because the 
The little castle, it'll shoot arrows. So hopefully they can damage it. Oh, they got a couple of places shooting arrows. Oh, they barely touched it. He's coming straight for me. So I might need a fire brigade or just build more wells. I should build a well up here. Yeah, he'll, pr he'll probably avoid the archer tower. So he's just flying through. So it's not too bad. Eat grand meals every day here. I can fit that right there. This is the war, the war hall. When I originally played, you get the dragons that come by, but then you'd also get like Viking raiders and giants. So, <laughs> who knows what happens next? But now I can get the archers built. Well, eventually. Michael says, black tip arrows for dragon. Oh, that's Middle Earth. Oops. Okay, get the church done. I imagine happiness will help taxes or not sure. But I'll probably do my military stuff just down here. I should build some manors as well. It costs 25 gold, but I'm sure they'll bring in a lot of, a lot of tax income.
I still don't have enough workers. Is that the issue? No employees. Unfilled jobs is 44. Wow. So I, I need a ton of houses. So these will bring in how much? About 25 peasants. So just have to build a bunch of these. I put some gardens here potentially. actually so we need 44 people that'll be in 75 so that should be good for now and then hopefully the gold pours in i'm gonna need some more food as well oh, like a bakery would be good takes wheat and charcoal and turns it into bread stores the bread until it's eat until it's eaten okay A nice bakery there. I'm not too worried about covering that fertile land. Okay, so we got this area cleared out. So hopefully we can clear this out with the the rock removal tool. Right there, and we'll get some iron. Yes, it's looking okay so far. Let's see how many, so it's 18 unfulfilled jobs.
Oh, a diplomat? There, there's two of them. Okay. So let's see how this other island is like. I have a message from a ruler. Yes, go on. Okay. <laughs> uh, you're a neighbor in kingdom, a peaceful kingdom, we hope. Indeed, we should have much to talk about. Oh, so I got friendly neighbors. And we'll see what these guys want now. Hopefully some trade or something. Yes, go on. Have you seen those dragons? Oh, <laughs> so I worry too much. I directed my top ministers to try and find a way to capture a dragon. Intriguing, why? I want to use them in battle, of course. I would be unstoppable with dragons at my disposal. Unfortunately, my ministers tell me this is impossible. Perhaps in another life. Yes, dragon warriors. Truly a glorious dream. So, he liked that response. See, so he's a, kind of like a warlike person, I guess. So it's probably a little bit of a clue. We gotta be careful with that guy. Okay, he's 21 jobs. Yeah, so we could make a more efficient farms now. We can make a windmill. Improves productivity of farms adjacent, does not affect orchards. Where's the road? So, oh, I guess it's just directly around it. So that's going to go there and then I'll have a road up here. Oh, there's Maritime right there. Okay. just accidentally clicked on that. Oh, so this is awesome. So let's build a dock. We can build these without a dock. Okay, that's cool. Load up resources at your docks and sell them at foreign ports. Okay. So go to food. Need a windmill. Hopefully that'll help, because, man, we've got a lot of people to feed now. So at least the farm should get a harvest now. You recently stepped in mud. Oh, poor guy. So the food output is six. And then I think it'll be eight because it's adjacent to a windmill. So that'll be really good. And we should probably get another orchard. Wow, 
That's a lot of food. Yeah, I'll get another granary there as well. Stores a lot of food. Vikings invading. Oh no. Where are they? I hope they sail past us. There's no way we can. But they'll kidnap your people and take them away. Oh, long range. I was. You know, the wood. You have to build those on a tower. So please, please go by. Yeah, I think he's gonna go to these guys. Oh, there's three of them now. There's one there, there's two up here. So they might be coming for us. Coming for all islands. Oh, I can get a barracks. That's pretty cheap. I'd like the military down here, actually. So we probably don't have time to build that. There's, there's four of them? Um, we should survive, but we got 168 people. Hopefully they fight the wolves. That'd be nice. Or the, or the wolves fight them. Nope. I wonder if I can call the sound the alarm. Okay, they're still in our gold. Oh, we got them. Okay, so that's pretty good. I guess, like, they do get harder, so the first one's probably just a test. Just to notify to up your defenses. Yeah, they're all leaving. We survived that one. Kept our gold. Okay, Hall of Diplomacy for Diplomatic Relations. Yeah, how's the stream quality, guys? I made some changes, so hopefully everything's working out. Okay, let's get some troops. Train a swordsman. So, what's that? Oh, iron, right. Or actually, we need a blacksmith. 
Okay, it takes charcoal and iron and turns it into tools or arm armaments. What are blacksmith? Uh, right up here, potentially. Yeah, that's a good spot. Okay, so 10 more years for the Viking invasion. Thanks, JC. Well, when I was playing this game years ago, I remember I had my town was completely walled off. So it's definitely not the great the greatest setup. But I think I would choose a land map next time. And hopefully there's like another island for the AI. Because I'd want to have like a lot more, lot more land or at least like start building back there. But there's a lot of uh, forest there so I couldn't do that. Even this island is it's a good size. Okay, so these give you oh nine food per year, just that one farm. Compared to seven. Probably still short people. Yeah, unfilled jobs. 30. Wow. So you really need a lot of housing. So that's 50 more people. And I'll probably want a market here and then build more houses. Okay, so I think I'll uh, end this stream here. It's just a first look into it. Yeah, I think it's a pretty fun game. They've made a lot of improvements to it. If you guys want me to make more videos of this game, uh, please let me know in the chat. Please like the video and please subscribe if you haven't yet. I'm probably going to stream tonight at 7 p.m. I'll stream uh, Stranded Alien Dawn. That's uh, 7 p.m. Eastern. And I'm just going to keep trying. I'll do some live streams for games like these. Maybe it's just a one-off. But it was kind of nice just to do a relax stream on a game like this. So uh, thanks for Madre and JC. And thanks for everyone for stopping by and watching. And for all the likes. And we'll see you guys later.